Watch you guys in this video we're taking a look at how to tweak Windows 10 with a powerful Windows 10 customization tool. This one is called Winslap and we're going to take a look at how you can use this to disable Cortana, shared experiences, telemetry, OneDrive, you name it, it can do all of that in one program. It's first it's important to make sure that you create a restore point on your Windows 10 operating system just in case you want to revert back in case something goes wrong. Remember what I told you, these types of tools are very powerful and they will make changes to your Windows operating system and it would be very difficult to revert these back without any sort of restore point or something like that. So it's always important to make sure that you've got a restore point to revert the system back to a working state before you use this application. There might be things in here that you need or want to use and if you disable those, they are not going to work and you're going to have trouble getting those working again. Now, what this tool can actually do is speed up uh, the actual time it takes to make changes to Windows 10. There's tons of changes in here that you're going to be wanting to make in the privacy sections, telemetry, and a load of other stuff that's built into Windows 10, which people don't necessarily want or need. Whereas this program will give you the ability to make changes to all those in one fell swoop. Now, it's made by this fellow here. I'll leave the link in the video description so you can download it and check it out. It does come without any sort of warranty. So a quick disclaimer, you will be fully responsible for your own operating system if you break it by using this program. I will not be held responsible, nor will the creator of this application. So let's right click and run this as administrator. Here we have Winslap 1.4. Now this has got some tweaks, appearances, also software and advanced. We'll take a look at the tweaks first. You can see there is some really useful stuff here which we can disable. For instance, disable shared experience, Cortana. You can see game DVR and game bar. Don't include frequently used folders in quick access. We also have don't show synced provider, notifications, disabled share wizard. And also you've got show the PC when launching file explorer and disable telemetry and OneDrive and all those other types of useful features that you have to go through on a regular basis once Windows 10 updates. You have to go back and disable all this stuff every single time. Whereas this program is going to make it nice and quick and easy to debloat Windows 10 very quickly by using this program. Now you don't have to check all like I'm doing here. You can go through here one at a time and Enable whatever you want to enable on your system, like disable advertising ID, disable location. Some of these may be useful to you on your PC, but if you're not using them and you don't want them, disable them. And you can use this program to literally disable all of this stuff here. So you can see how much uh, is packed into this little application. There's loads of really useful stuff here to help you debloat Windows 10 quickly and easily by just check marking a lot of stuff here. Disable infantry collection, disable step recorder, disable experiments by Microsoft. The list goes on and on. There's quite a lot of stuff on here which you can actually uh, check and just remove them and disable them. It's very simple. And you can just hit the slap button and it will just automatically do that for you. Now let's take a look at the appearance. I can always go back. These are not going to be removed, these ticks. I can do them once I've finished all of my selections in each of these tabs. So let's go into the appearance here. And you can see here, there's a really good useful stuff here, like hide people button in the taskbar, hide search in the taskbar, uh, you know, loads and loads of stuff here. Uh, hide OneDrive cloud um, status in the file explorer. Always show file name extensions, which is one of my pet hates. But you can just put the ticks in these, remove OneDrive from File Explorer, delete quick launch items, use Windows 7 volume control. The list goes on. Next, we'll go on to the software tab. This is really useful for people that install particular types of software on a regular basis. You can install 7-Zip. You can install Audacity. Uh, you can install Etcher. Uh, there's loads of stuff here like CPU-Z, uh, GPU-Z, and loads of other useful applications. And this is probably designed for the person that created it. He probably installs all of this stuff on his machine, and he thought it'd make a useful program to make it really easy. But a lot of these programs are really quick and easy and useful for a lot of people on a, a general day-to-day -day basis. So these will be quite useful for most people. And I'm pretty sure that he's going to be adding some stuff to this 
at a later date. And you can see here, in, install OBS, install OpenVPN uh, Connect, Origin, Power Tools, Putty, you name it, Slack. There's a load of good stuff on here. Team Viewer, TeamSpeak, quite a few uh, decent bits and pieces on here. Discord would be a nice addition to here and a few other bits and pieces. Wireshark, VirtualBox, really useful stuff. So let's move on to the advanced here, disable background applications. Now this is built into Windows and they do take up a lot of resources on your Windows 10 system. And you can see there's a bunch of other stuff like disable Windows Defender, uninstall Internet Explorer, enable Windows uh, subsystem for Linux. You can tick and enable a lot of these features uh, for your system as well. And once you've got all of your selection done, you basically just hit the slap button and that's what we'll do next. And I'll show you exactly how this works. So it's probably one of the best little tools that I've seen that does a lot of useful stuff under one hood. And I will leave the link in the video description and hopefully this guy continues his work at adding new stuff to this uh, program. Important, all changes made are at your own risk. There is no easy way to revert these changes. Your PC will restart immediately after the changes have been made. Are you ready to go? Let's hit the slap button and away you go. All of your all your selections are going to be uh, enabled on this system, whether it be disabling stuff or removing stuff or installing stuff. It's going to be all done uh, just like it's doing right now. Really useful little program. I'm pretty impressed with it. Now, another thing I like about this little application is the fact that you just put tick boxes in the selections that you want to be removed or disabled or installed on your system, whereas PowerShell is a little bit more complicated and a little bit more difficult for people to understand. This is much more simple and much more simplistic for people just to put check mark boxes in a box to disable or install or uninstall or remove stuff. Very simple and easy to do. Once it's finished its uh, installation and removal process, you're just basically going to get a, a reboot and it will reboot the system and boot back up to the desktop and pretty much you're good to go. Everything should be removed and disabled that you selected and all the programs that you selected will be installed on the system. And uh, that is pretty much that program in a nutshell. Now, of course, by removing and disabling a lot of this stuff, it's going to give you some system resources back to your computer. So if you're running an old system with Windows 10 on it, it should help with performance, uh, especially on an older PC. Uh, modern day PCs are pretty powerful. But if you're still using old systems, then something like this will be very useful for you. Now, of course, again, without having any sort of background apps running or any sort of stuff like that running in the background, it's going to help with also uh, system resources as well, which is going to help out uh, keeping your system running nice and quick and smooth and zippy. So basically, you're tweaking and speeding up Windows 10 in a sense. So all in all, I'm pretty impressed with this little application. It's done a pretty good job. You can see the installation of all the software that I selected has been installed. It's made a bunch of different changes on the system. And of course, it's removed stuff that I didn't want. Now, just be very mindful about what you are selecting. If you don't know what it is, then basically leave it well alone uh, because you don't want to remove stuff that you don't understand because you could end up messing up your Windows 10 operating system. Just make sure you keep a restore point so you can revert back if you're not happy. With that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to my supporters on my YouTube members page. I really do appreciate it. Have a great day and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.